Welcome back to the Big Purple Couch. On the couch right now, we have Western student Kelsey Thomas, as well as Nicole St. John, not a Western student, <laughs> but with the Pillar Nonprofit Network. So guys, tell me a little bit about what Pillar is. Well, thanks for having us here today. Pillar Nonprofit Network is a network of nonprofits and charities, and we support them to reach their missions and goals within the community. So we have about 300 members, uh, and we support them through professional development opportunities and advocacy and awareness, consulting, and promotion of volunteerism. Awesome. So you guys have something coming up called the Innovation Awards that you're putting on. Tell us about a little bit about that. The Pillar Community Innovation Awards are a night of celebrating all the amazing things that are happening in the nonprofit sector. So it's recognizing the individuals, the volunteers, the businesses, the students, the government organizations who are all working together in support of the sector. It's an incredible night. We have 12 finalists in four award categories. I, and we are expecting 600 people to join us at the convention center on Tuesday, November the 13th. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about what Western got nominated for. That is an excellent question. We're excited to be here today because uh, there is a nomination that was submitted and chosen as one of our finalists, Gerontology in Practice, Community Service Learning uh, for Community Collaboration. So these are students who are using their skills and time and talent uh, towards their program and going out into the community, working with 10 community partners for the betterment of seniors. So they're actually taking what it is that they're learning and applying it and seeing real life circumstances uh, and change happening so it's pretty awesome we're excited to see a nomination for Western students come through yeah that's amazing so why would you say that it's important for Western students to keep getting involved with nonprofit organizations yeah. Kelsey do you want to take that one yeah I think it's just really interesting I just started interning at pillar this semester and before then I had no idea what pillar was and it's been really exciting for me to find out about how involved in the community they are, every aspect, business, nonprofit, and just getting everyone to work together and support the community in a larger way. And working on the Innovation Awards and seeing some of the stories, it's just really inspiring. Yeah. So tell us about how being a Western student, you're kind of now breaking out of the Western bubble. Uh, do you think it's really hard to do that? Do you think it's important for students here to do that? Yeah, I mean, even outside of work, we'll talk about places they go to eat and things downtown, and it's so funny the amount of things in London you have no idea. Like, it's a lot bigger than you think it is out there, but really with volunteering, it was something I did a lot in high school, and I know, like, for all of us, it's hard once you get into school, but there are ways to make it work, and I've realized adding that extra 15 hours a week with my internship, it's worth it, and, like, I just love going there. We really enjoy having uh, Western students come and volunteer or do internships in our office and they bring a, a whole new energy level to us. It helps us connect as nonprofits to what's going on on campus and what's important to students. Uh, and hopefully it gives students a chance too to find out a little bit more about what's going on outside the gates. Totally. So you help it with a lot of organizations in London. Are there any popular hotspots that students go to to volunteer? That's a great question. I, 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 don't, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but what I do know is that when we're encouraging people to find those opportunities, think about what's passionate for you. Like, what do you care about? Is it the environment? Is it children? Is it seniors? Is it um, health care or fitness, arts and culture? And then start finding those avenues to get in there. It gives you a chance to build your resume up, too, with the volunteer experience that you're doing. It's amazing. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for coming on the couch today. Um, there's so many great ways to get involved through Pillar if you're a student here at Western. Make sure to check out their website or you can follow them on Twitter at PillarNN. Thanks guys for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Alright guys, stay tuned. So much more coming up.